Hey, Shalom, double honors to the apostles of GMS. Honest you brothers, I'll be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and man, you know, I'm just getting, I'm getting to, into some different, you know, topics, man. You know, to do with this destruction, I got some um, article, uh, article I'm gonna bring out. All right, pretty much what you're seeing right now, man. You're beginning to see the Mosai put into effect what is prescribed in the scriptures and that what was spoken about thousands and thousands of years ago, man, 2,000 years ago and prior to that, all right, because the prophecies, even before Yahweh Shai came on the scene, it was prophecies that haven't even played out today, man. Things like Isaiah the 13th chapter, Job the 20th chapter, all of those things ain't really come to, you know, those things are coming to flourishing right now, man. All right, you think, you take, the, you know, the example of Job the 20th chapter, when the Lord came on the scene, right, Esau wasn't in power at that, at that time, man. But now the triumphing of the wicked is, is short for a short time, so they were in power for that three, four hundred years. All right. But now the Mosai is removing them out of the power seat. All right. Starting off with their monetary system. Right. Getting into their military, how they've spread their military, whether it be America, NATO, right, or the uh, so called United Kingdom. Right. We, they all work for the same entity. They're all the same entity. All right. They're, they're all the, these, the same um, demons, man. They're all the same. Um, they have the same agenda. All right. Even if, even on a, on a larger scale, if you are, if you get into the understanding of how they at least want this thing to play out, right? Then ultimately you find out that they they're the ones that in, in control of these governments, man. So really, they're the ones that play off both 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 um both sides, whether that be Russia, all right, or whether that be the so-called United States or NATO. NATO and the United States are the same thing. They work for the same agenda, man. All right, and is in an Israel, man. They're all the same thing. They're working, all working underneath the so-called uh, uh, elite banking families to achieve what they want, which is world domination, man. All right, by way of starting off the World War Three that you could, that, that, that's already started. Because what you got right now out there in the Middle East, in the land of uh, Syria, right, you've got uh, 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 um, armed Russian forces, right, and armed NATO and United Kingdoms and U.S. forces out there, right, in the same battlefield. Shooting off, shooting off guns, man. What do you think is gonna come out of that, man? What do you think is gonna be the the, the, the result of all of that can't happening, man? All right, and that's why the scripture says, man. All right, uh, uh, the scripture goes into the fact that the most high is it, though those that day tarrieth, it shall surely not tarry, man. All right, it's gonna come to pass. What day is he talking about? It's spoken about in the book of Second Peter, the third chapter. Right, starting off at about the tenth verse, and you really can get all that that whole that whole chapter is pretty badass, man. Right? Why? Because it goes into the scoffers. How in the last days you guys gonna have scoffers and they was gonna be walking after their own lust. Right? And and what you got right now, man? Whether you're talking about uh, uh, the scriptures, whether you're talking about the uh, uh, geopolitical situations that you have out there within the Middle East, right? Where you're talking about the monetary system, you got all kind of scoffers. Whether they be whether they be of uh, Negroid, Hispanic, or Native American descent, right? Or whether they be of uh, 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 of the heathens, man? You got all kind of scoffers, man. All right, but guess what, man? When you go into the scriptures in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, um, round about the twentieth, twentieth uh, verse, it says, "I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror cometh." All right, and what's that talking about? That's talking about the. You know, and when you read on, it says, "Um, because when I stretch forth my arm, which is what you got right now, right throughout the four corners of the earth, you got the, you got the prophets. You, right? so you can certainly access the videos from throughout the four corners of the earth." Right, you can access those videos that the elders and, and the brothers underneath them be uploading about the destruction of the society. You can you can see that, man. All right, all right. So what you're gonna what you're having right now is the Mosai. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna bring that scripture out. I haven't brought that out in a minute. Right. This is in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. And this is uh, the twentieth verse. And it says, "Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice." In this, in it shouteth a voice in the streets, right? So you got the, the wisdom, which is their ability, right, to make good judgments, and that's going to come by way of the scriptures, all right? The 613 laws, statutes, commandments, and the ordinances thereby that are encompassed within the scriptures, that makes up what wisdom is, man. The ability to make good judgment, the ability to make good cho choices, all right? And who who are the uh, forefront? Right of giving you the understanding of those those um those those ordinances, right? Those laws, statutes, commandments, right? That's the men at GMS and the, the brothers underneath the elders at GMS on down, man. They're the ones that are the, are the forefront, right, of giving you this this understanding. All right, right, and then you got you know the other you know 
other guys, man, which are really just assholes, man. All right? Like it says there, right? Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the, she in, in the streets. So you was going to find wisdom in the streets, just like how we was back in the day, man. That's how the most I wanted this word to go out right now, man. Now, it's all good and well doing, you know, sit-downs and all of that. But the chief, um, the chief place where you was going to get this understanding or where this word was going to go out, was going to be in the streets, man. Why? Because the scripture says we was going to be a spectacle unto these people, right? Moreover, it takes a hell of a lot of faith to come out here, not trying to boast over anything, because, you know, you got brothers pushing this word all over, man. But it takes a hell of a spirit that only the most I can put on you, right, to come out here and push this truth. Like it says in the, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, right, which I'll get into much later if I get, get down with all of my scriptures, right? In the book of Wisdom in the fifth chapter, and, and the first verse, it says um, um, something to the effect of, um, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before, fa before uh, the face of such as afflicted him. All right, that's what's happening right now, man. All right, that's that's how, that's what's happening right now. When you go into the scriptures, the scripture says Esau, right, was gonna possess, um, um, was gonna was gonna you know pretty much possess uh, was gonna be a possession unto Esau, right. But they they was gonna hold themselves not guilty, man. So now we're, now the Mosai we're in the state right now when the Mosai is having it to where we're. We're cursing out our so-called possessors, man. The elite banking families, right, and the peons underneath them. They're all going to be destroyed by way of what Russia's out, got, got, out, got out there again prepared, man. Right, not only Russia, but the people that are with allegiance with Russia, namely China, right, uh, Iran. All of those different countries, right, are going to bring forth what you know as World War Three, man. Right, and that's going to bring forth our kingdom because in the, in the book of Daniel, the second chapter on the 44th verse, it says in the days of these kings, right? In the days of these kings, so the most I set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and ain't going to be left to other people, man. All right, so after we, you know, go through the processes of going in the wilderness, first and foremost, the destruction, right? Getting beat up in the chariots and the wilderness and so on and so forth, right? Ultimately, man, it's going to be a case where the most is going to have just an elite governing body of where the lion, right, which is the, you know, which is starting off with the tribe of Judah, which are the Negroes out there in America, they're going to be the heads, right, and underneath them, the rest of Israel are going to be um, the rulers, right, of the of the upcoming society, right, so you got more about head, which is them damn Chinese thinking that they're the next superpower, they're not the next superpower, man. Well, they're not the next superpower. We're, we're, we're even going to be a superpower, man. We're going to be, in, you know, we're going to have, we, the status we're going to have, right, is that of gods, man. But that's when you go into the book of Psalms, it says, you are gods, but you shall die like men. And that's what's happening out here, man. Well, you got all kind of Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans getting all kind of abused, right, but, but, but Esau, right, by way of them police and all of that, man, all right. And you got it to where, um, man, they're catching all kind of hell underneath Esau, man. All right, but ultimately, man, that table is going to be flipped. All right, we go into the book of Isaiah, the fourteenth chapter. It says, um, 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 effectively, man, ultimately, that Israel is going to be the, the ones that's going to be saved, and we're going to possess possess our possessors, man. All right, now let me get back into the book of uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. And I was at the at the twenty-first verse. It says, "She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city." She uttereth her voice, right? She uttereth her voice, saying, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And how long will the scorners delight in their scorning? And that's what the time we're in right now. And that corroborates with what it says in the book of uh, Second Peter, the third chapter, man. How long, you scorners, going to delight in your scorning? But we know through the, um, through the prophecies that were set forth in Isaiah, the sixth chapter, Right about the ninth verse, with the most I said, let the, let the ears of this heart, let the ears of these people be um, made heavy and their hearts be uh, made fat, certain to that effect, meaning to say they wasn't going to get the understanding of the of the truth. It was going to be so blatantly obvious to the, the elect, right? He was going to try to break it down to them, but they was going to back up against it and, and stay simple, man. So how long were the simple going to stay simple? Just like how it says in Isaiah the, uh, six chapter the ninth verse, to the cities be laid waste, man. All right, and that's what's coming forth now. So you're going to get the understanding, right? Right up in the moment that it says, "Hey, man, you going you was gonna get it. You was gonna pray unto the Most High." Right up in, in the in, in the instant, right in the instant where the Most High had it to where uh, um, the society was getting destroyed. That's when you was gonna. That's when you gonna say, "Oh man, all right." The men of the Lord that was on the streets said they were speaking the truth. But guess what? Just like the parable of the ten, vir um, uh, the ten virgins, the five that were wise and the five that were foolish. 
right? You're gonna be accounted as the foolish, uh, foolish virgins, man. When the bridegroom comes, right? He's gonna, he's, he's not gonna be dealing with you, man. He's gonna be too late for that in, in, in that moment, man. All right. So it says there, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? How long you, um, the scorners delight in scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. All right. And this is the, the what the Most High says. He said, turn you at my reproof. And that's what you get first, man. You get rebuked, right, by where the elders telling you that the way you're living ain't right, man. Right, so you start off, like it says in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter on the fourth verse, you start off having, uh, um, uh, um, where it says, set a mark upon the, uh, 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 the, the foreheads of, upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You start off with the zeal, right, you cry uh, about all of this stuff that's going on in the society, starting off with the homosexuality, Right with the uh, 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 mainstream media, how they falsify all kind of information, all the lies that are in this society. That's just a prelude to what was going to happen in this. It, 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 to when you come into this truth, man. That's all. That was that was all just a prelude. But see, when you when when you're at that stage, man, you're still doing all kind of wicknesses, things contrary to the scriptures and the ordinances thereof. That's why the scripture says he's going. He he's, says, "Turn you at my reproof, man." Right. In other words, get your shit together, man. All right. It says it. Um, how long you simple ones, right? We well, love simplicity and the scorners delight in scorning, right? And the fools hate knowledge, man, right? Because you got a lot of foolish people, right? Not, not only are just our, our people, man. Just remember the scripture says in the book of Ecclesiasticus, the uh, um, might be the tenth chapter, right? It says, um, it says, um, knowledge, uh, what does it say? It says, folly, right? It's going to be set in great dignity. And that's where you go in this society, man. You got a, uh, you got a society that upholds, um, you know, ludicrous behavior, man. Right? When you switch on your, your you know, your so-called your TV or all of that, man. All right? When you go to the movies, all that you have in there is folly, nothing of uh, of substance, nothing to build with, man. All right? And that, what does what does that what does that do? Not only is your household broken down by way of the, um, by way of. Um, women's rights liberation not only is, is is your house broken down because of that right but the children that you're raising in this society are going to be even more messed up because they're the foolish the foolishness the foolish things of this world but really that talks about when it talks about the foolish things of this world are sitting in, in high that's talking about us but really what i mean by that is what what is considered stupid stupidity right like the scripture says folly is setting is in setting great dignity man that's upheld as a high thing man Right, that's upheld in a high regard, man. Right, but when you come out here with some, some wisdom, some knowledge, right, especially of these scriptures, man, right, especially of these scriptures, you're going to get a lot of people having a, a problem with that, man. But guess what, man, the most I set it up to be so. We were supposed to be a rock of um, offense, man. That's why the scripture also goes into when the Lord was on the scene, he says, I bless the day that are not offended in me. Why? Because pretty much we're talking offenses here, man. That's why it says, turn you up my reproof. It's offensive. When you come first come into this thing, it's an offensive thing, man. We're telling you everything that you've been doing, man. It ain't, one, it ain't right, man. You ain't right. And really, even when you try to get right, ultimately, the scripture says our righteousness says is filthy rag. So the only thing you can obtain in not knowing that you can't get it 100 is the humility, right? And understanding that the Lord is the only thing that can save you out of, out of, out of this uh, wretched place, man. All right? So it says there, I turn you at my reproof, and behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I'll make known my words unto you. It says, because I have called you and you refuse. So just like how we're calling out there to the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man, right? Right, telling you that the Mosai has chosen you to be a special people unto himself, right? And you, how are you going to get right with the Mosai, right? And how are you going to um, follow the Lord's statutes, commandments, or all of that, right? Uh, 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 um, that's what the scripture is saying here, it's saying, man, Right, because I have called, because the most high is called. We're the mouth of the most high, man. Right, we're the mouth of the most high. When the most high, most high, the, the, the Lord, right, whom the world knows as, as God, right, and Jesus, right, they have set up, right, uh, all, you know, words that were supposed to be spoken in a certain time, man. And they, 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 those words are, are manifested, man. Right, oh, they're being spoken. So, the Lord, the scripture, what the scripture is saying here, man, is because the, the most high had it to where this word go and go, it was going to go out, right? And you wasn't gonna take heed unto it, this was gonna be the result of that. Okay? It says, Because I have called and ye have refused, and I have stretched out mine hand, and no man regarded it, but ye have set up not all of my counsel, or with none of my reproof. So they would none of the reproof for the most side. They, they, the reproof that you, you're getting out here, they regard it as a little, they, they regard it as 
even more fully than this thing that they hold in high regard, man. Right? They disannul it. But ultimately, guess what, man? This is what the Most High is going to do. He says, um, uh, but you have said, no, all of my counsel and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamities. So the Most High is going to have his men, right, laughing, laughing, laughing when, when you know, when your, when your calamity comes upon you, man. All right, like, like it's going to be spoken about, I'm going to get it in, uh, in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, when you got martial law, you know, coming up all up in this place and all of that, man. All right, the men of the Lord ain't going to be involved in that, man. Right now, you know, they might be in prison and all of that, or they might be in a case where they'll be all right. Man. Right, we don't know how the Lord's going to do it, you know, word for word, you know, a play by play. But we know ultimately that the scripture says here, right, um, because, because I have called and you refused, and I have set up my uh, hand and not my regarded, but you have said, not all of my counsel and none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh. So we, we was gonna, we, we're going to mock when your fear cometh. All right? One of those main fears that is manifesting ever more, um, ever more every day, right, is the, um, what's spoken about within the scriptures in the book of 2 Peter's Revelation, the 18th chapter, and really pretty much from the start of the scriptures all the way on down, right, which is the destruction of America, man. All right? That's, 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 that's getting ever closer, man, to where people are starting to bug out, man. Not, 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 not even to include uh, the fact that your, your, you know, your, your so-called monetary system is, is, is going to go tits up pretty soon. All right. Not to mention that your, your economy is going to, you know, going to be messed up pretty soon. All right. But ultimately, man, these people are going to bug out. Right. That's why the scripture says knowledge is going to be the stability of that time, and that's really where, you know, we, you know, the precepts that I put forth here. That's where, that's where, that's what I'm really touching on, man. The fact that what's going to come to this society. It's gonna bug a lot of people out, but the men that have obtained right the mercy of the Most High to where they was gonna get into this truth right now, right? They was gonna be of a, a more sound, uh, 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 um, there was gonna be a, of a more sound mental state when this thing goes down, man. All right. So let me finish that up. It says, "I will also laugh at your calamity, right? When your fear cometh as a desolation. Why is it gonna come as a desolation? Why is your fear gonna come? And why is it been? Uh, why is it here synonymous with desolation?" Because right, when you go into the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, America is literally going to become a, a, a desolate wilderness, man. It's going to become like a desert land, man. All right, so when that fear cometh, man, when you see that button pressed from the Russians, man, and they're pressed, but you ain't going to get nowhere in the hour, man. Because they got it to where the scripture says in, um, in the book of Revelations, the 18th chapter says, within one hour, right, shall thy judgment come. You ain't going to get nowhere in the hour, man. Especially if it's, 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 it's millions and millions of people trying to get away, right? From where the Russians are launching them attacks to, man. So you ain't gonna get away from that. Alright? So your fear is gonna come upon you as a desolation, man. Alright? It says, uh, and your destruction coming. Make this man get over it. That's okay. Yeah. We already know that we already know the so-called one we don't believe in God, man. So why is he why is he telling me, man? That you weren't made for you. Alright? You know, now now obviously you're gonna have Jake that was gonna look like so-called white people, but that was the Edom, man. So I'm not faced by that. All right. It says it. Um, when your fear cometh as a desolation and you're destroyed, and really, you, you know, you got you know, really that's cause that's cause a lot of the men are in this society are pussified, man. He, he did that for some attention, man. All right. He did that just for some damn attention, man. See, if you was really, you, if you was really, if you really didn't believe in that, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't go out of your way to prove that, man. All right. That's what you got in this society. You got a lot, of, a, 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 a lot of, a, 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 um, um, a lot of a bitch made, you know, assholes out there, man. That's what you got. You got a, a, too many of them, man. All right, because why? Because this, the, in this society, right, manlyhood, right, manliness is seen as, a, as, as something that's that's a derogatory, man. That's something, it's something bad, man. All right. But that goes to show you what the scripture says in the, I believe it's in the book of Daniel, the second uh, Daniel. Uh, when it talks about uh, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a, as the potter's clay, man. So, so when the Mosai, when the Mosai, one of the reasons why the Mosai is going to be destroying this society is because Esau's got it completely upside down, man. All right, he's got it completely upside down. But the Mosai is going to come back, right, and restore order, right, to what order was before, man. All right. Now it says, "Hey, I'm gonna finish this up." It says, "When your fear and uh, when your fear cometh as a desolation." And your distress cometh as a whirlwind, and distress and anguish cometh upon you, man. Alright? 
hey, in certain parts of the scriptures it says they going they was gonna seek death and it was they wasn't gonna find it, man. A lot of these people are gonna be in a state where they were catching so much help, they was gonna look to die, but they weren't gonna find it, man. But it was it's gonna be easier to die in that day when you're catching your hell and, and, and in that in that moment, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be laughing at you, man. We're gonna be mocking on you. Why? Because you wanted to scoff, right? And you know, and, and talk, you know, you talk your mess, right? It's concerning the men of the Lord. But now, you know, you're gonna be in all kind of, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like the scripture says, you're gonna be in distress and anguish, man. All right. Let me get into some some more different um, topics now, man. Right. But pretty much based up, upon the same thing. I wanted to bring that out, man, because I ain't brought that out in a, uh, in, in a little while. All right. I'm gonna start in the book of Mark, right, the thirteenth chapter. Right, and I'll get into Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, Second Ezra, the eighth chapter. All right, wisdom of Solomon, and so on and so on and so forth. I might not get through all of the scriptures in that, but um, hopefully, you know, the edification will come out there. And pretty much, this is centered around the, the fact that you're gonna need wisdom in this in, in the times that are coming right now. Man, you're gonna need your your faith stable, man. You're gonna be need to be, you're gonna need to be rooted and rooted within the scriptures, right? Because what Esau's you're gonna be bringing out, let alone the hell that you're gonna be catching, all right? Right, like it says um, in the scriptures, it says, um, um, for the devil's gonna come down with you having great wrath, man. Right, he's gonna be coming down having great wrath. You don't know what Esau's gonna do as a, as, um, as a result of um, uh, uh, um, what Russia's doing out there in the Middle East, man. All right, they're gonna see, they, Russia's back down. Russia's made them, them, um, them the NATO and all of that, and in the, the US, right, they backed them up, that pretty much backed them up into a corner, man. So they're gonna be coming down with great wrath because he knows he has a short time, right? But we know that Russians, they, they're Edomites too. So they, you know, they're all acting out of a rash instinct right now, man. All right? And we're gonna see, man, I'll go, to, I'll go to article as well, man. You're gonna see some information coming out of that as well. But I'm gonna start in the book of Mark, uh, the 13th chapter, 